Hey folks, Matt from MarioTheImage.com. We've been talking about the D850 a lot. It's probably the biggest buzz online right now in the camera world. Obviously, we have other cameras that are expected soon, like the new Sony A7s, A7R, and things like that. But right now, um, especially with all the little trickle releases to the D850, it's, it's been a lot, a lot of people talking about it. I have another question that a viewer has brought to mind on not specifically the D850, but definitely relating to the D850 and the Canon 5DSR and any of the high megapixel bodies, bigger sensors. Uh, rentals Rentals is the YouTube username here, and they said 80 megapixels. Wow, now I can see all the dust on my sensor. How about a sensor that is not a dust magnet instead? So a bit of tongue-in-cheek there, but a good question got me thinking. Um... I think we've seen, my my gut uh, answer would be thinking about it and having shot a lot of full-frame bodies, you know, the 610, 750, 810, um, 5D, uh, I think that it is true, I think it's pretty much a given that the larger sensor, full-frame bodies, collect more dust then, they, in other words, they get dirtier, they get more dust spots on them than, say, an, an APS-C body. If you had a 24-megapixel APS-C body, you know, say an 80D or a Nikon D7200 versus a 24-megapixel 62 or a um, Nikon D610 or D750, the, the full-frame bodies are going to get dirtier faster. And, and I tend to think, um, at least that's been my experience. But I tend to think the reason for that is the real estate of the sensor, not so much the resolution. So we're talking about a full frame 35, mega, uh, 35 millimeter sensor as opposed to a crop sensor. And I think it's the actual area of the sensor, not the increase in megapixels. Now, Rentals Rentals is saying 80 megapixels. Um, how about a sensor is not a dust magnet? Uh, but begs, so, so my question here is that is my assumption is just pure real estate. And I, and I think that's probably correct. Um, but is it, is it possible that an increase in megapixels is creating, say, a greater electromagnetic field, a bit more pull for dust? Um, so I'm throwing it back at you guys. Uh, maybe somebody, one of our viewers has the more technical, uh, know-how or works with sensor design and build and can answer and speak to that, uh, from a technical perspective. Does an increase in resolution with a given size sensor, so if you had a 35 millimeter uh, full frame sensor, uh, would, a, would a, a higher resolution sensor create more dust attraction? Is it something to do with um, perhaps more uh, a greater uh, electromagnetic field generated? Is it is it something to do with the actual resolution? Or is it merely we're just, as I said, that in comparison to a crop sensor, the larger area of the sensor is simply just gathering more dust. It's larger and it's, it, it gathers more dust. Um, cause I'm not exactly sure. My, my, my gut would be, as I said, it's just, you know, a full frame is going to collect more dust, going to attract more dust than a crop. I don't think the increase in resolution will, but I don't know. So I throw it out at you guys. Um, what do you think? If somebody out there does have the technical expertise to answer that, that would be really interesting. Leave it in the comments below. And in general, just uh, what do you guys think? What's your experience been? Has it been the same as mine that when you're shooting full frame, do you find they get dustier than when you're shooting your crop bodies? Um, I would say that that probably goes holds true down the line to, for instance, Micro Four Thirds. I don't think get as dusty as um, my APS-C. And then, of course, it's, it's a given that if you have a smaller camera with a fixed lens, um, you're typically not going to get, you know, it's more of a sealed system, so you're not going to see much dust at all, plus it is a smaller sensor. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Sensor size, um, dust, is it merely a function of the area of the sensor, or does the actual megapixels um, influence that somehow? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Looking forward to uh, seeing what you guys have to say, and hopefully somebody will, uh, will answer that uh, has some real technical know-how in the field. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.